Haifa sent an email which yesterday's time was not sufficient to answer. And she says, in my city, Hyderabad, nowadays people are saying Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam personally never ate beef. He just said it's halal and they are avoiding it. Can you give a reference? Did the Prophet eat beef or not? First of all, it is quite strange for people to make assumptions. But what is weird when their assumptions are related to the Prophet ﷺ. So, assuming that the Prophet ﷺ did not eat beef, who are you to avoid it? Say, so, Shaykh, this is Sunnah. Okay. The Prophet ﷺ was proven from the authentic Sunnah not to eat garlic or onions. People of Hyderabad, do you have the guts not to do that? So, oh, Sheikh, what do you mean? Most of our food is based on onions. We can't live without onions. So what will you do? Um, mm, uh, okay, mm, uh, this is not sunnah, Sheikh. This is something that the Prophet did not do. So we're not obliged to follow it. Subhanallah. When it suits your desires, you make a way out for it. When it doesn't, you simply say that the Prophet did not do it. Knowledge is not taken this lightly. You don't shoot from the hip. You don't give verdicts like this without accountability, without being responsible. And this is what we had just talked about. Responsibility in Islam as our values. You are not allowed, Akhi, to just state such generic and wide statements without any proof. Cows were men mentioned about uh, 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 among the livestock in chapter 6, Surah Al-An'am, at the very end. And Allah told us about the camels, the cows, the goats, and the sheep. Eight pairs mentioned in the Quran. Not only that, in the farewell hajj, pilgrimage, the Prophet والسلام, sacrificed cows on behalf of his wives. And if it was bad, he would not have done that. He would not have harmed the poor who ate from this sacrifice. So you don't have to have a specific hadith stating that the Prophet والسلام, ate strawberries. And he used to use jam and uh, uh, peanut butter is breakfast. What is this? What is halal is known. What is haram is known. Now, what made the people of Hyderabad and uh, others come to this conclusion? Because there is a hadith where the Prophet wasallam said that the milk of cows is a cure and means of healing. And the meat of cows is an illness. So I said, ah, okay, alhamdulillah. Hadith authentic? It's authentic. Yeah, khalas. Done. Wait a minute. What do you mean by done? He said, the Prophet said, it is an illness. You have to look what the scholars of Islam said. You don't even know Quran or memorize it. You don't even know Arabic. And you just come and give verdicts like, this left, right, and center, this is not logical. This is irresponsible. So the hadith, as some scholars said, is referring to the cows living in Arabia because the meat is very harsh, unlike the cows elsewhere where you get good meat. Go to South Africa and you, got, you, you find fine meat in Kenya, in Uganda, in all these places. Excellent cow meat. Beef, that is. Not only that, some scholars said that the hadith is referring to consuming a lot. So if, yes, if you consume a lot of beef, this is bad for your cholesterol levels and for your heart diseases that may develop. But if you are regular and moderate, there's nothing wrong 
in that. So again, uh, Haifa, this is baseless what these people say.